I hoped it would be helpful to make a video of this, which is an Ernie Ball volume pedal. And I got to a gig last week, and it was in a effects pedal case, and it arrived at the gig stuck in this position. And you could move the pedal down, and then it would go to about here, and then when you pushed it to this position, it moved back again on seemingly on the spring being pulled and I had no idea what to do so what I did I took the volume pedal out of the case and I sat it on a table and thought about it and thought well maybe I'll just do the gig without a volume pedal and as it happened the rhythm guitarist also has an Ernie Ball volume pedal and he lent me that one for the gig and my one sat on the table for the whole gig and I was thinking, well, what do I do? I've never seen this situation before. And this is the reason why when I go to gigs, I always have a case of goodies with me. Screwdrivers, circuit testers, wire strippers, and all sorts of things. So so I had I had some basic tools with me, but I didn't really know what to do. So I was looking at it, and then you realise that the a volume pedal is on... These type of volume pedals are on a, a string here. So there's a string here, and then at the other end, there's a string here. And there's a potentiometer inside, which is difficult to see from this position, but there's a potentiometer inside, and there's a wheel in here. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically take this apart and just take these two screws off and I'm going to show you how I fixed it. So, all you need is a Phillips screwdriver. So you just take the two screws out like that. And that means the little volume block will drop off. And it's on a, a lead, so you just have to be a little bit careful. So there's a potentiometer here, and then the string goes onto this fixture that's part of the potentiometer. So the problem I had is when I took the pedal down to about this point, I noticed that there was slack on this part of the string and the back part of the string was tight. So the front part and the back part are both end up connecting to a spring, which the spring is in between and that, that forms the tension. So this is the way I fixed it. What you do is you put the pedal all the way down to the back position as if the potentiometer is off and then you grab this part of the wheel and, and force it counterclockwise, anti-clockwise. So you're pulling it towards yourself, effectively. So you pull it as far as you can towards yourself and hold it there. And then what you do is you push this down and you wait until you hear a sound. And what, what happens is the string here will slip and it will slip against the, the wheel because it's wrapped around this wheel three to, about three times. And you're waiting to hear it slip because what's happened is the string has actually slipped in transit. And it's allowed too much slack at one end. And the way to redress that is to do this and force it to slip the way it needs to slip. So pull this wheel counterclockwise towards you. And you hold it there and then press down there and you'll hear it slip and that's how I repaired mine. And all you do is just put this back and it's a simple job. So if I'd have known that at the gig, I'd have been able to get myself out of that little fix. It should have taken, in theory, five seconds to repair. But unfortunately, the rhythm guitarist did the gig without his volume pedal. And I was okay, because I had his. But anyway, I should have done that. So there's one piece of advice, which is if you always go to your gig with a toolbox, make sure you've got plenty of spares. Um, there's my solder. 
So make sure you you always go to a gig with plenty of spares and pack as many spares for every eventuality as you can think, because you never know what's going to happen. So anyway, there you go. There's um, a rough guide to an Ernie Ball volume pedal fix. Anyway, please remember to subscribe. I hope it was helpful. Let me know if it helped you.